The member for Holt. That, Mr Speaker, is a hard act to follow. I'm sure the member for Dunkley, I'd like to see him chase after Santa with his foot being in its present state. But anyway, um, Mr Speaker, I'd like to discuss a great initiative in my electorate of Holt in the heart of the growth corridor in the southeastern suburbs. Now, my electorate is often associated with the Fountain Gate shopping centre and a TV series and a well-known couple who used to shop there. But in fact, it's so much more. My electorate is the heart of one of the most dynamic growth belts in Australia. Interestingly, some 22 per cent of people in Holt are employed in the manufacturing industry, the highest proportion of any electorate in the country. And in total, 44 per cent of workers in my electorate are employed as technicians, trades workers, machinery operators, drivers and labourers. These people are good working people. They make our country tick and they contribute to our national prosperity. The electorate is also one of the most heavily mortgaged in the country, with some 55 per cent of owner-occupied houses. And my electorate lies, as the member for La Trobe knows, within the city of Casey, which is a council whose current population is approximately 246,000 people. Now, at present, we have about 55 families, or 146 people per week, who shift into the city of Casey. By 2021, the population of the city of Casey will be 320,000, and by 2036, it's projected to be 450,000. So soon, the city of Casey is going to be larger than our nation's capital city. But with that growth, there will be enormous demands on all levels of government to accommodate it. And we must all work together, whatever our political hue, to plan and to provide the necessary infrastructure and facilities for those who move to our area to make it their home and to create their futures and the futures of their children there, here. Now, we've been moving and accommodating that growth through our building education revolution and also the recent grants of well over $10 million to the Casey Council to assist with infrastructure development and job creation, particularly during the height of the global financial crisis. And I know that this money has been well spent, has been appreciated by the Council and its expenditure in the substantial Casey Fields development and roadworks, sporting facilities, resurfacing and renovation. One astonishing fact is there are 54,100 5 to 19 year olds in the city of Casey. Many of these children will proceed to university. Many others will proceed to embark on a trade training course and achieve a much valued trade qualification. And on this theme, one of my proudest mo moments as a member of parliament was when the then opposition leader, Kevin Rudd, articulated during the 2007 election campaign that a trade qualification was the equivalent of a university degree. Now, this meant a huge amount to the many tradies in my electorate and the many kids who aspired to get a trade. And I suspect that one element that influenced the former Prime Minister was a visit he made to the then New Memory Secondary School Hallam campus in 2007, where he saw firsthand the transformative power of targeted trades programs, staffed in particular by visionary teachers and innovators like Keith Pimlet and Tom Halloran. Tom had forgone a large salary as a successful tradesman to teach at the school. Keith has had a very successful career in business before moving into teaching. The results of this coupling was outstanding in terms of school results and apprenticeships and job opportunities provided. The former Prime Minister's statement and what I have seen and observed provided a significant counterpoint to those long-held sentiments of those who derided good working men and women who pursued trades in the 80s and the 90s. Because we know without the traditional trades and emerging trades that we just couldn't function as a community. And we celebrate those who pursue a trades career and we celebrate their contribution to our community. And one way of ensuring that that continues was a commitment made by the then Rudd and now Gillard government in the construction of a trade training centre at New Memory. I recently had the pleasure of turning the first sod on the first amalgamated trade training centre being constructed in my electorate. The federal government has committed $10.4 million to the Hallam Valley Training and Skills Hub. This project is a cross-sectoral trade training centre that aims to provide job-ready training in traditional and emerging trades for senior school students at Hallam Senior Secondary College, Fountain Gate Secondary College, Glen Eagle Secondary College, Endeavour Hill Secondary College, Hampton Park Secondary College, Narry South Peter 12 College and St John's Regional College. This hub has particular relevance given its proximity to major manufacturing centres and hubs and particularly employers like Bombardia and JCO and groups like the Australian Apprenticeship Group. Uh, Mr Speaker, this is the culmination of a vision of people like Kim, uh, Keith Pimlet and Tom Halloran. This is the, we're providing the facilities 
that the future of our community need, and I had great pride in turning that side because I know it's going to provide the opportunities that our tradies need in our region in the future.